Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Nebula from the Avengers. Let's get started by drawing in the character's eyes. So I'm going to move over to the left side and draw in a circle. Starting from the very top, I'm just going to work our way around to the bottom and back up towards the top. Now I'm going to leave a large gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So we're going to line up the top of the circle, come down to the same height, and then back up to the top. Over on the top left of each eye, I'm going to draw a smaller circle for a highlight. So up against the edge of the eye, I'm just going to curl in and back out, and we'll line this up on the right side. Let's fill the outer area of the eye in black. Now we're going to move up and draw on the eyebrows. So we're going to start on the left side. We're going to angle down and in with a straight line over the top edge of the eye. And we're going to do the same thing on the right. Starting from the inside, we're going to angle up and then out. From the inside, we're going to draw two short angled lines coming up and in. And we're going to taper this back towards the outside. So starting from the tip, we'll thicken the eyebrow up as we come in. And then we'll fill those in black. Now let's move to the center and draw on the nose. We're going to start with the bottom edge of the nose. Starting on the left, we're going to curve down the middle, then back up on the right. Now we're going to step up and draw a curve in the opposite direction for the bridge of the nose. Now we're going to move down in the middle and draw on the mouth. So we're going to draw a curve going up the middle, then down towards the right. Now we're going to step down and draw a short line going across for the lower lip. Now let's draw on the lower part of the head. From the left eye, we're going to step out we're going to draw a large half circle coming down underneath the mouth. And we're going to bring that up on the right side. Now let's draw on the top of the head. Starting from the left side, we're going to bump up the side of the head, curve up towards the top, and we'll bring that back down on the right side. Now we're going to move to the outside and draw on the ears. From the top of the cheek, we'll step up, Curve up and down, round up the ear, and then pull that in behind the head. Do the same thing on the right side. Now let's draw the inside of the ear. From the side of the head, we'll curve up and out. Now we're gonna add some detail around the right eye. Starting from the inside corner of the brow, we're gonna step down and in, curve up and out over the eyebrow. Now we're gonna curve this down and out towards the side of the head. Let's go back to the inside. I'm gonna draw a short angle line going up and out. Then I'm gonna follow that same curve going up towards the top, and we'll curve down towards the side of the head. Now from the side of the head, I wanna step up and draw an angle line coming down around the eye towards the bottom. Now I'm gonna curve up and in, just underneath the eye. We'll flatten off the inside with a straight line now we're going to curve across and then down towards the side of the head. Now from this point here, we're going to step out, draw another angle line going up and out. Now we're going to follow these two curves going back out, across towards the side of the head. Now we're going to add some detail on the inside. Starting from the bottom, we're going to draw a short angle line going up and out. Now go to the side of this line, we're going to go up and out and straight across towards the side of the head. Now from this line, we're gonna step down, draw another short line coming in. Now we're gonna follow that same curve of the head, coming down towards the bottom curve. Now we're gonna go up to the top. Along this line, we're gonna curve up and in. Then we'll draw a straight angle line going up and out. Now from the inside edge of the left eye, we're gonna step up above the eyebrow. We're gonna draw a straight line going up. We'll do the same thing on the right. So up above this line, go up to the same height. Now we're gonna angle up and out towards the side of the head with a straight line. 
Now I'm going to move down to the bottom of the left eye. On the inside edge, we're going to curve out and down towards the chin. Now on the inside of the right eye, right up here, we're going to curve down and in behind that trim. Come straight down, curve down and in towards the bottom of the head. Now we're going to add that metal plating to the top of the head. From this line, we're going to step in, draw a straight angle line coming down and in. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to flatten off the end with a straight angle line going up and in. And then drawing another angle line going up and out towards the top of the head. Now from the bottom, we're going to step up, draw a curve going up the middle, and then down on the right side. So now that we complete the head, let's work our way down the body. Let's start with the sides of the body first. So over on the left side, we're going to curve out and down towards the left hip. Go to the right side, we're going to curve out and down towards the right hip. Now let's close off the bottom. Starting on the left, we're going to curve down and then up towards the right. Now we're going to step up, draw that same curve going across. Let's add in the buckle. Leaving a gap in the center on either side, we draw a straight line from top to bottom. Now in the center, underneath the chin, we're gonna draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the top of the buckle. Now from this line, we're gonna step out, curve out and down towards the left, then out and down towards the right. Now we're gonna add some detail to the body. Over on the left side, on the inside of this curve, we're gonna come down and in towards that middle line. Now we're gonna step down, curve in, come all the way down towards the belt. Let's add two buckles on the left side of the center line. We go out with two lines and close off the end. Let's do the same thing at the bottom. Now let's add another strap going across on the right side. Starting from this point, we're gonna follow the same curve of the belt, going out and then up. Step up, and draw that same curve. Let's continue working down with the legs. In the center, we're going to step down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down. Leaving a gap in the center, we're going to go to the left side, curve out and down towards the left heel, then out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. From the left heel, we're going to curve down and up towards the toe. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now back on the left side, we're going to draw on the top of the foot. We're going to draw a half circle going up Aiming towards the heel will stop right about there. And then we're going to go back down and thicken up the sole. Taking this curve, we'll step up and just trace that out. Now we're going to move back up to the hip and draw on the side of the leg. Start from the left hip, we're going to curve out, round out the leg, and then pull that in towards the top of the foot. We do that on both sides. Just above the foot, we're going to draw on the edge of the boot cuff. Starting from the side of the leg, we're going to curve down and up. Line this up on the right side and do the same thing. Now just up above the boot cuff, we're going to step up and just draw that same curve. We'll step up again and draw that one more time. Now let's move over to the right leg. We'll start with that one curve first. Now we're going to draw two more curves just up above, leaving a narrow gap in between. Now we're going to add a curved trim on either side of the leg. Starting underneath the belt on the left, we're going to curve out, down in behind that strap. We'll go to the bottom of the strap, curve down and in towards the top of the boot. Do the same thing on the right, curving down. Come down to the bottom of those three lines, down towards the boot cuff. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the arms. About halfway down the side of the body, start up here, we're going to curve out and down towards the wrist on both sides. Now back on the left side, we're going to start with the thumb. We'll start with a small half circle. And at the end of the half circle, we'll draw a bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we're going to curve down and curve up around that bracket. We're going to add two more fingers. At the bottom of this finger, we're going to curve down and up the second finger. And then on the side of this finger, we're going to curve out the third finger, curve up, and then in behind the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Pull this 
all the way up in behind the head. Now we're gonna add some detail to the left arm. Starting from the wrist, I'm gonna curve down and up. We'll step up, follow that same curve going across. Now we're gonna go up to the top of the arm on the inside. We're gonna curve up and then out. Step down, draw that again. We'll do that one more time. Now I just wanna add a strap across the shoulder. So starting at the bottom of the arm, we're gonna taper this curve going up underneath the head. Do the same thing on the right side. Now let's add some detail to the right arm. Starting from the wrist, I'm gonna curve down and then up. Now we're gonna go up about halfway along the arm, curving the opposite direction, curving up and then across towards the outside. Now we're gonna add some detail to the upper arm. Starting from the side of the strap, follow the curve of the arm coming down towards the center line. Step in and draw that twice. Now I'm gonna go up and go about halfway. We're gonna curve down to right about there. Now we're gonna angle down and out towards the outside of the arm. Now we're gonna go to the outside of this line. We're gonna angle down and in. Now I'm gonna follow that same curve coming down towards the wrist. Let's do that one more time, stepping down, and then down and in. Curve down towards that wrist. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Nebula from the Avengers. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.